Shout Factory TV, changing the channel. I'd read in TV Guide about this British show, Till Death Has Two Part, and that dynamic of the father and the son and the political arguments and, and the bigotry and so forth. Well, that was my dad. I grew up with that. I ain't sitting still for no preacher telling me that I'm to blame for all this breakdown and law and order that's going on. Why not? We're all to blame for not paying attention to the cause of it. The cause of it? I'll tell you the cause of it. The cause of it is these sob sisters like the Reverend Felcher and the bleeding hearts and weeping Nellies like used to. Like us? Yeah. I think we better read now. No, no, no. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second. It's you. Me? Yeah, that's right. You, the property owner, which with your 24-inch TVs and your four-slice toasters and your ice-making refrigerators. That's all you care about, Archie, is what you got and how you can keep it. Oh, well, you'd care about it too, Sonny Boy, if you had anything. <laughs> you wasn't living off for of me without a pot to peel a potato. In. My father called me the laziest white kid he ever met. And I would scream at him, you're putting down a race of people to tell me that I'm lazy. And he would scream back. That wasn't what he was doing. Gloria, you married the laziest white man I ever seen. All right, all right. It's, it's, it's bad enough you got to make fun of me. You don't have to make it worse by attacking a whole race. Who's attacking a whole race? You are. You just said I was the laziest white man you ever met. What's the matter with that? White man you ever met. Yeah, you. Implying that the blacks are even lazy. Oh, no, wait a minute, meathead. You said that, not me. I never said your black beauties was lazy. <laughs> just their systems is geared a little slower than the rest of us. As soon as I locked on my, the relationship with my father, I, I couldn't believe it hadn't been my idea. It was so clearly a show. And uh, so I knew I was going to do it instantly.